Hey everybody, it's Mark again. And uh, before I get to that uh, assembly of that antique 1908 George Cool Cuckoo Quail uh, Railroad Clock, we're going to talk about something else. This subject gets um, brought up every so often, and a lot of people ask me what to do, how do they do it, and uh, and I explain to them, but it's easier to show people. So this is uh, just going to be a quick video, and uh, so you can get back, grab your coffee, grab something to drink, grab something to eat, grab a cigarette. And uh, let's get to it. Now the question is, how do I know which chain to order? If I don't have any chains whatsoever for my cuckoo clock, how do I know which chain to order? Well, I have to explain something first before I give you that answer. This is a one day chain here. Um, this is a one day ratchet wheel. When I put the chain on this ratchet wheel, you will see that between every tab on the chain, there is A link so here's a tab for that link here's a tab for that link and then there's a link in the middle of those two tabs so that's very important that you know that so if you don't know what to order you have to order links Per foot. So you would count a foot worth of links, and that is what you would order. If you don't have a chain, maybe you have an antique clock, and this is a uh, A regular eight-day clock and you can see that those links or that those tabs are different from a one-day clock and then when you get into the antique clocks they can be even further apart so what you can do is take a permanent marker like a black permanent marker and color every one of these tabs And then find a rope that will fit inside of here and run that wheel along that rope. I don't have a rope. I have this piece of paper. So what you do is you shove this piece of paper inside this gear and you're only going to go around the gear until you meet the piece of paper And then you unfold that piece of paper 
and if you colored them properly you will see little dots on your paper I didn't color them properly as you could tell but I didn't do a foot for it all right I only did three inches worth so you would multiply what you found here times four because you only did three inches worth and in this case a link a, a the tabs are every half inches so if I go three inches or even a foot the tabs are every half inches but I told you that you have to add a link between the tabs so every quarter inch and we're going to start with the one because the stupid piece of metal here we're going to we're going to count every quarter inch. So 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 15 16 17 18 19 20 21 22 23 24 25 26 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, 3, 44. Remember, I started on the 1, so we got to go to 13, 45, 46, 47, 48. That's 48 links per foot. And if I was to stretch out this one day chain and count this one day chain, a, a, a foot of it, we're going to see how accurate we are. Let me get a different chain. Stand by. I wanted to check my work. So I did it with this rope here. And between each dot is three eighths of each dot is three eighths of an inch. So three eighths of an inch in twelve inches is thirty-two. But you gotta multiply that times two because I told you there would be a link between each uh, chain. So that's 64. So I have a one day chain here. That I taped the blue section is 12 inches. So we're going to count one, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, I need to recount all over because I screwed up. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 
33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, 50, 51, 52, 53, 54, 55, 56, 57, 58, 59, 60, 61, 62. I counted 62 links, but let's look at time savers. Here, time savers is really easy about order and change for cuckoo clocks. Here, a Herber Her one day movement is 59 lengths per foot. Here, a regular 25 one day movement is 61 lengths per foot. And we counted 62. So, you see what I'm getting at? And the reason why I knew it wasn't 48 or what I said before, because that's for an eight day movement. 48 lengths per foot. Um, Herber Her AJ movement is 45 lengths per foot. So, and they typically come 72 inches or 70 inches in length. So, there is, what I'm getting at, there is a way that you can figure out how many lengths per foot that you need when you don't have a chain available. The rope works better than a piece of paper. As you can see, these black dots in here. And you could... Do a, a complete foot if that's what you wanted to do. But you could do it like I did also. This is that antique George Cool cuckoo quail clock. You see the, uh, the spacing between the points. They're a lot different than your one day movement. They're pretty close to the Herbert Her eight day movement, but let's go ahead and count a foot worth of links on them. Again, I, I marked a foot off with the blue tape. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, Eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight, twenty-nine, thirty, thirty-one, thirty-two, thirty-three. 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45. Same thing as the Herbert Her 8 day clock. So if you don't have a chain, there is a way that you can figure out what change you need. Um, if you have a, a piece of plastic, I tried doing it with the paper, but the paper will rip. But if you have a piece of plastic, that is the same width as the gear 
here you can put a piece of plastic in it and force it force these to poke holes in that plastic and then um, uh, roll it down a foot to get you a better count or you could use a permanent marker and roll it out the way I did it with the rope whatever I did with the rope and then take an accurate measurement and then um, you know you have to multiply it times two because like I told you Here you could see the point with the chain. Over here there's a point with the chain. And then there's a, a chain link in the middle of the two. As I was making this video, I thought of a better way. You could take some Play-Doh, lay it down on the table, roll it out, lay it down. Take the wheel, and then you can push the wheel along the Play-Doh a foot if you want, and then you could see the marks that the uh, tabs make. And then again, you're going to have to count one one link the space being two links the next point being three etc for a whole foot I hope that you enjoyed this video like I said this question gets asked every so often and um, um, I, I got a movement in today, and I was thinking to myself, well, I'm going to have to order chains for this because it don't have chains. Well, this movement that I got in today doesn't take chains. It's a wooden plate movement that takes a string um, to wind it up. So, uh, anyway... Um, I hope you enjoyed this video. Please give me a thumbs up. Please leave me some comments. Uh, please hit that subscribe button. Uh, and I will get to the uh, putting that George Cool uh, Cuckoo Quail Railroad clock together. And hopefully soon. And may God bless each and every one of you.